Part 2, Azure Moon, Harpstring Moon, The King's Triumphant Return. Following the death of Rodri, Dimitri begins to question his desire for revenge. His troubled mind turns to the kingdom capital and how he might end the chaos plaguing Fargus once and for all. Our victory at Drondor was certainly a turning point for us. However, Rodrigue's death has been difficult to bear. We've lost considerable military strength and resources. Are there no lords we can rely on? Unfortunately, with things as they are now, I don't think House Gatia has any resources to spare. I'm sorry. I really wish we could help. If only House Galatea had anything to give. If we split up the soldiers currently defending the monastery, we should have sufficient numbers to invade the Empire. But even then... Your Highness, you should be resting. Your wounds are still healing. I am well, I assure you. More importantly, may I have a moment of your time? Thank you. I wish to apologize to all of you. I have led you down this dark path with me, and have caused so much suffering along the way. I cannot tell you how sorry I am for my behavior. There is no apology I could offer that would be sufficient. <laughs> and how do you intend to make up for my father's death? Felix, I realize words alone are not enough to repent, but I fear they are all I have. I'm not after more empty words. I want you to speak through your actions. I know that no amount of regret can ever bring back the lives we have lost. I... I know that well. It is like patching up a tear with a different material. Things can never be as they were. The best I can hope for is to make things whole again. I wish to do the right thing from now on. That is why I have made a decision. I intend to take back the Kingdom Capital. I wish to save our people. Those who I turned my back on for far too long. To follow my heart and do the right thing. That is the only way I can atone for my sins. Your Highness. <clears throat> if we can win back Ferdiad, it will give us the advantage in our war against the Empire. As one who has served the royal family for ages, know that your words bring me great joy and pride. That said, I must point out that if we make for Ferdiad, the Emperor's head will slip further out of reach. Can you live with that? I still hold hatred in my heart for her, and for the ones responsible for the tragedy. That I will carry with me until death. But my life is my own. It belongs to no one else, and it is high time that I started living for what I believe in. I will no longer allow the voices of the dead to bind me. This is something that I must do. No. Something that I am choosing to do. I will accomplish my aim, even if it means risking my life to do so. Understood, Your Highness. So, any objections? None whatsoever. You are correct. We cannot afford to die in vain by recklessly challenging the Empire. I'm worried about Lady Rhea. But if this is the choice you've made, I support it. I am at your command, Your Highness. I will follow you anywhere. My sword is at your service, Your Highness. I'll help too. The people in Ferdiad need us. Fine. I'll help you in my father's stead. But in return, you must win. 
You know that, don't you, Dimitri? I do. And I swear on my father's lance that we will prevail. Then it is decided. It seems this war council has much to discuss. Our next stop is Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. For the future of Fargus. Well, that makes me wonder how this story goes, siding with the other houses. Well, an axe tournament. Okay, that'd be a good one to partake in, but first things first, rest. in shape. That was help. The skill was Hey, guess who I'm going to use in the axe tournament? The guy who's a brick wall. Apparently you have a knack for magic. Interesting. All right, that's. Hey. That's that's the wrong one. I thought this. Oh no, I'm sorry. Okay, I did that wrong. And now I feel bad. Quite intrigued. Ask you. Those from Northern Fargus are used to the frigid coat, although Garrick Mock is located atop a mountain. The summer heat can be quite unbearable for soldiers from the north. What should I do for to boost morale? Cooling off in a nearby river is always a good option. Ah, you see. Whose birthday is it? Annette's tea party. Uh, I think Thank you would you like something sweet. Me. I love this tea. Is it a favorite of yours as well? Thank you. Ooh, it's piping hot. Okay. Uh, past laps. Wow. Huh? Recipes. Because you like to cook, I remember that, even if you're not very good at it. Uh, no, that might be a good idea. The view from the bridge. Nope. I remember the first time I met you. Right away it was like talking to an old friend. Uh... Are you sure? Thanks for the treat. It was so yummy. You're welcome.
This will be easy for the two of us. Oh. Just gonna skip through that. Looks like I'm getting it. It's all instinct now. Automatically. You like that? I'm starting to get it. Some new insight. I got a good while before that. So, another seminar. Good to get some bow lessons in, I guess. I'm getting the hang of this. I'll do what I must. Always something new to learn. I'm getting it. Automatically again, because people's motivation is kind of low. And there's a holy day of obligation coming up. Yes. Is this necessary? I'll sing if I must. I've never sung a song before, so I don't know if I'm good or bad at it. I don't think of myself as a particularly good singer. Uh, something going on. Oh, Cyril. Sure. Keeping it clean, sweeping it clean. No more trash, nowhere, no how. I thought oh, you just said darn. you didn't There's sing. There's trash over there. Hard at work, I see. Hey, Professor. The cathedral's a real important place for the Church of Saros, so I always make sure it's all sparkling clean. You could start with that pile of rubble behind you. The monks do some cleaning too, and they tell me not to bother, and sometimes they even say to go away, but they just don't clean as good as I do. I don't stop until everything shines. Are you a believer in Saros? Nah, not really. And Lady Rhea told me it's okay if I don't show an interest unless I feel like it. And I haven't so far, but... I just want to take good care of the things she cares about. If there's a thing she wants taken care of, then I'll do it better than anyone else. Don't you feel the same? Since Lady Rhea really took a liking to you and all. I wouldn't go that far. Maybe you don't realize how great a person Lady Rhea is. I don't trust her. She's always praying hard as she can for her followers all across Fodlin. She does it every single day. And even though she's always so busy, she tries to listen to as many people's needs as she can. When she seen the kids who lost their parents in Ramire Village, she didn't leave them there. She got the church to take those kids in, same as me. She's so kind. She's almost like a mom to all her followers, and just everybody that I can think of loves her. I think it's about more than kindness. Hang on. Are you trying to say you know more about Lady Rhea than I do? No. Okay, maybe she likes you more than she likes me. 
But I know that I know a whole lot more about her than you do. Okay. I know these things, okay? So don't go talking down to me like you know better. I wasn't. Huh? Well, just as long as we're all clear on that. And now I'm going to explore after they do this. It went well. I'll say. And some support conversations. Let's get right to them. Dimitri and Mercedes. Okay. Mercedes. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but will you lend me a hand? What can I do for you? Oh, is the cuff of your overcoat still torn? Mending that shouldn't be a problem at all. It's pathetic, I know, but I fear my sewing skills are... Well, as you can see, they're just about non-existent. Goodness! You must have been concerned when I tore your cuff. Ah, well... That is to say... <sighs> Would you please teach me to sew? I hear you're rather amazing at it. <laughs> of course I'll teach you. Don't look so heartbroken. You will? Thank you. Oh, I owe you for this. I'll go get my sewing kit. You wait here. I'm so sorry, Dimitri. I've never seen... Um... Well, it's just a bit... No need to dance around the issue. You're fed up with my clumsy efforts, aren't you? I thought you might end up bending some needles if you tried mending this on your own, but... How did you manage to break a pair of scissors? I'm just... I'm so sorry, really. I try to be careful, but with delicate work like this, I just can't seem to manage. There's no need to apologize. But you must have been uncomfortable making your way here with this tear. My inability to control my own strength is humiliating. Of course I'm useless at needlework. No giving up on yourself. You just have to practice, that's all. No matter how difficult something is, if you keep at it and don't give up, then you're sure to improve. Isn't that what you told me? Right you are. To give in to despair isn't like me. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, I'm ready to give it another go. Great! I'm glad to hear it. First things first, let's make sure the needle is actually threaded this time. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I bent another one. Okay, that was kind of funny. Dimitri and Annette. Your Highness, I have a little favor to ask of you. Of course. How may I be of assistance? Well, I was hoping you could... Tell me about my father. I imagine he was a very different man at home than he was at work. Ah, so you wish to hear about the Gustav that I knew. As you know, he was a knight who served the royal family since my grandfather's reign. To me, he was a teacher of martial arts and tactics. He was someone I depended on since I was a small child. But he was also a very stern and strict instructor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He was much the same at home. He chide us if we made mistakes, whether it was with cooking, or even how we spoke. I feel like we can talk like this because of our time at the Academy. But if he saw me speaking so casually to you, oh my goodness, he would probably faint. Is that so? <laughs> Funny. I suppose in front of his family he felt the need to demonstrate proper etiquette. Wait, are you saying that's not how he was around you? Even all these years later, there's something I recall with perfect clarity. It happened in the autumn of my 11th year. Before the break of dawn, he woke me suddenly. Said he'd heard a disturbance and had me grab my bow. Then he set me and a fellow pupil loose on a dark mountain. Our only directive was to go catch a deer. As you well know, autumn in the capital is very cold. Now, imagine being up on the mountain at night with no idea what might jump out from the shadows. <laughs> that, in a nutshell, is the Gustav I knew. 
<laughs> I can hardly imagine that. He was completely different with me. I recall well, you're his daughter. Detail. He used to speak of you at every possible opportunity. Really? What would he say about me? Are you sure you want to know? There's one story he used to tell from when you were very small. No, stop. It's probably too embarrassing to bear. Is it? Uh, perhaps. Look, I'll promise to forget the stories he told me about you if you return the favor. Deal? Yes, that seems the only thing to do. It's a promise. Okay. Now, Ingrid and Dimitri. Ingrid? I've been doing some thinking, and it occurs to me that I owe you an apology. What? Why do you seem so serious? In a just world, you would be happily married to Glenn. He... He truly loved you. And it's clear that you care deeply for him as well. But on that awful night, he died right before my eyes. I could do nothing to prevent it. In a way, I'm responsible for you losing the joyous future that should have been yours. I know my words can change nothing, but... I'm so sorry, Ingrid. No, Your Highness. There's... There's no need to apologize. Glenn's death. It still doesn't feel real. I always looked up to Glenn. He was the very picture of a perfect knight. Noble and virtuous. In the end, he laid down his life. The ultimate sacrifice. I feel proud of him in ways that words can't quantify. Proud? Truly? That's right. I feel proud that he died for those he was sworn to protect. Proud that he passed from this realm to the next as a perfect knight. Are you really trying to turn his needless death into an ideal to uphold? Ugh, you and he are so alike. Needless death? How can you say that? Glenn gave his life for you, for everyone, and this is how you speak of his sacrifice? You weren't there. You didn't witness his last moments. If you had, you wouldn't feel that way. I don't care to hear your interpretation of his final moments. He was and will always be an ideal knight. You would do well to rethink that ideal, my friend. Pardon me? He served in your guard. He took great pride in what he did, in protecting you. The very least you can do is not spit on his memory. If you'll excuse me. Wow. What is the matter with me? A lot, actually. There's a lot wrong with you. Dimitri and... Gilbert. Gustav. It has been eight years since I last called you by that name. Your Highness, I must deeply apologize for leaving the kingdom without permission. I was... There is no need to explain, old friend. I can guess at your reasons. The tragedy of Dusker. You felt responsible for that incident and sought respite in the Goddess, abandoning your name, rank, and homeland in repentance. Am I right? I have no excuses to offer. This... it was all I could think to do. I always knew you for a pious man, and I figured that if you were to leave, this is where you would end up. You have changed much. Your face does not have the same resolve it once did. If I may, Your Highness, you have changed as well. I can't disagree. It was my duty to protect His Majesty, your father. Naturally, that also included Lady Patricia and yourself as well. My father and mother are gone. No amount of regret will bring them back. My dreams are haunted by the thought that had I arrived at Dusker more swiftly... You saved my life at Dusker. I have only gratitude for you, no blame to speak of. I wish for you to remain in the kingdom, Gustav, even after this conflict is over. I need your strength to help rebuild the ravaged land that Fargus has become. Please, I beg your forgiveness, but there is no place left for me in that land. I see. Though much has changed, your stubbornness remains. I have no desire to trouble you. If you do not wish to return, 
That is your choice to make. But I do advise you to at least visit the place of your birth. If only for your family's sake. Yes, Your Highness. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. Okay. That was nice. Shamir and Cyril. Okay. Hey, Shamir. How do you think I'm doing with my bow lately? Think I'm getting pretty good? I hit closer to the bullseye today, and that felt real good. You were fine. Fine? That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Shamir. <sighs> you take too many direct shots, though. But it's easier if you shoot straight. Of course it is. But if you can hit your enemy with a straight shot, you're too close. Tell me, Cyril, what's an archer's greatest weakness? Um... When we get too close to the enemy and we can't shoot the way we're supposed to? Exactly. As an archer, your position is critical. Know exactly how far the enemy is and keep a minimum safe distance. Understood? You mean to stay away from the enemies, but not too far away or my arrows can't hit them. So you exactly. understand why you can't rely on straight shots. You have to use curved shots as well. Never run up to your target. Hit them from a safe range. Shoot them from a safe range with curved shots. Archers should always control the battlefield. Okay, yeah, I get that. I'm gonna go practice some of those curved shots right now. You're not a bad student. If nothing else, you have the right attitude. You think so? Keep it up. I will. Okay. Felix and Sylvain. Sylvain, eat these. What are these, Felix? Oh, hey, is this candy? A girl in town gave them to me, but I don't want them. Right, you don't like sweet stuff. Thanks, I'll eat them later. So, what do you need? Want me to help you get closer to a girl? Just point her out. You're incorrigible. No, I wanted to thank you for your help in battle. If you hadn't spotted that enemy ambush, I would have been killed. Nah, I didn't do anything special. Friends help each other out, especially on the battlefield. Just a little give and take, you know? You never change. Nope. I try to stay on an even keel. You're always... Always what? Yourself. <sighs> Nothing. Come on. If you've got something on your mind, then say it. Maybe I'll tell you later, maybe I won't. Fair enough. I'll be having something to eat while you're deciding, <clears throat> whatever it is you're deciding. Actually, come with me. My treat. If you do want to talk, then I'm right there. Okay, just this once. Only because you saved my life. Free food, possible conversation, and when we're done, we can find some girls. <sighs> it was a joke! Felix, I was joking. Come on, let's just go eat. Sylvain, never change. Anyway, as I was saying, Axe Tournament. Let's see. Dudu, do you have anyone else who's good with an axe? Sedith. Gilbert! Gilbert it is. Web recommended 36. I bet he can do it just fine. He's built like a wall. And has a crap load of health. On my honor as a You were unprepared. There's always fighting brigands. Because if this is all they can muster, there is no risk of losing. 
Never mind. This is where I lose. That's okay. Check my crops to the greenhouse. Mercedes and Annette are both here. Hello, Magic Lessons. Always hit X to bring up the map. Oh, they're right next to each other, directly ahead of me. Hmm. I see. I agree that we should head the soldiers. They'll be able to... Advanced drills. Faith. Because apparently I have a knack in that. The Kingdom Capital. Oh, Professor, I I didn't mean. Uh, it's not this that I'm not a vacation. I know that. It's just the Kingdom judging by but all. Yeah, I get it. Uh, advanced drills, please. Magic. Oh, Dimitri can teach me how to fight. Um, okay. Caught by him now. It's fine. Advanced drills, lance, and authority. Okay. Do do. Everyone is said what he will is all that is exact. Act sure. Sylvain's just outside, and Ingrid is to the north. I don't feel like, but if it's, I figure we've been friends. Hey. Let's go speak with Ingrid. Oh, what? She's at the graveyard. We buried Lord Rodrigue's body ourselves. There wasn't time to do things properly. It pains me that I was unable to take him home to his territory. Once this war is over, I'd like to hold a proper funeral for him. For now, we need to focus on taking back Ferdiad. All Agreed. will be well eventually. Lance, riding, and flying. This experience is critical. Whose birthday? Mercedes! Tea party, because she's precious. Uh, how about some chamomile tea to help you relax? Professor? Thank you so much. So delicious. Yes. Uh, your favorite sweets. Working together. So. Nope. You're doing great work. And to our mission. But we're going to be doing this next time. Join. You know what? No. Let's get to it. Reclaiming the capital. Mainly because I really want to do this. Despite their victory at the Battle of Grander, the Kingdom Army turns around and marches for Ferdiad instead of heading south. To hail the arrival of the Kingdom Army, 
the people of Ferdiad begin to rebel. No move is made to suppress them. Instead, Cornelia directs her borrowed imperial troops to prevent Dimitri from reaching the kingdom capital. If you can reclaim Ferdiad... It has been a lifetime since I was here last. Right, like I was saying, if you can take retake Ferdiad, you'll have the entire army of the kingdom to take Edelgard down. Five years ago, in fact. On the day before my execution, when Dadu helped me escape from prison, I killed soldiers from my homeland, stole weapons from their corpses, and made my escape soaked in their blood. To think this is how I would return to the city of my birth, after all that has happened. You didn't really have much of a choice. You have Rodrigue to thank. Yes. Rodrigue gave his life to show me the way back to this path. You have risked much as well. I am glad to have you at my side. From the Wait a minute, that heart, maiden that I killed Rodrigue, that wasn't that general's daughter, was it? Or not daughter, sister. Let's win this, Professor. Let's I think all it was. Let's alive and celebrate our victory. Your Highness, the path to the castle has been cleared. We are making preparations to advance. Say the word, and we march. Give the order. Yes. Let us begin. Everyone, listen well. This battle is for all that the Empire stole from us. It is a fight to reclaim the days of peace we once enjoyed. I give you but two commands. Stay alive and follow your heart. That is all I ask. The gates to the kingdom capital are open. Join me. It is time to take back our home. For victory. For glory. I thought I would see you again, little princeling. Huh, so stubborn. It must run in your family. Cornelia. The city is overrun with insurrection. It seems to be in response to our enemy's arrival. If we do nothing, our army may suffer damages. We should suppress the citizens immediately. The people are rebelling? <laughs> Let them do as they please. Or are you saying you have enough soldiers to divide our forces? Quite bold of you, with our enemy's most elite soldiers at our doorstep. But... what are you suggesting? The city is going to be a battlefield anyway. Kill all who oppose us, even if they are members of the general populace. Go on now. You are needed out there. As you wish. May we find fortune in the battle to come. I'm going to enjoy putting you down. What an inconvenience the little princeling has turned out to be. And bringing that troublesome person along with him. It would have been much better if he and his sweet little stepsister had been good little children and just killed each other. I'm going to enjoy killing this bitch. I mean, like, really enjoy it. Yes. Hold on, let's take a look at the map. What the hell? An automaton? And there's Cornelia. A black mage. What are these? They're golems or something. We gotta fight in for us. Manuela and Shamir are on us are on support. Let's do this. <laughs> the 
preparations are all in place. Time to meet my old master. Ready the Titanists in the streets. Let's give them a welcome to remember. Smash that traitor, Cornelia, and reclaim the capital! I will not lose. I swear it by the blood in my veins. Okay, buddy, just try to keep your cool. Oh, geez, Ingrid's with me. Okay, Ready when you're right. Keep your distance. Flame is going to be here for... Let's go. Well, flame things, I guess. I've gotten stronger. Yes, you have, and you are damn good at what you're doing. See? Were those archers? No. It appears the archers are in the rear. A brave sword. I need to take out these strongholds. Or we're going to be in for a very difficult fight. I am prepared. I'll cut through. At your service. What's my strategy? I'm your girl. I'd be honored. Leave it to me. My orders? What's the plan? I'll handle this! Excellent work, Cyril. You finally respond with a crit. I must lead them well. Weak. Pathetic. We had an orb launcher in there. That's what you get. Yeah. Her enemies are my enemies. Ooh, not good. Just a scratch. I'm gonna pull you back. That helps. You step in. Draw them in. Don't let your guard down. All in his service! Luck wasn't with you. Nice form. One to remember. So he's still turning to do for some reason. I'm okay with that. These things I'm a little worried about. They got a big reach. They will fall. It's going to plan. I'm strength. Done. 
Well done. Wait. Kinda sad, dude. Too slow. Annette, with me. I can't lose. I'm still here. I expect no less. Excellent work, Felix. Reassuring. I don't expect forgiveness. My Let's go. I have to send her in, but fortunately, it's just an orb trap, and she has, and plane has good resistance. Uh, let's send Gilbert with them. Yeah. enough for you? Well then, we had better activate the Visco. <clears throat> oh, jeez. That <sighs> thing, those things have gotta go. Dude, that's gonna be annoying. Ineffective. Oh, that's just oh. sad. <laughs> Of course, then again, Pegasus Knights don't exactly hit very hard. They're meant for stealing. Oh! There was an archer. Oh god, what was that? That scares me. Oh, I think it's these Titanus things moving. Oh, there's more of them up here. 
I want these highlighted so I know to avoid their paths. I'm not ready to deal with them. I must lead them well. Excellent work, me. I need to be that good. I don't want to die here. You weren't using that skull, were you? Stronger. I didn't think so. This still. are annoying. Meteor? Oh, jeez. Yeah, those are those mech automatons moving around. Oh, nice! <laughs> I love getting those. Knew you could do it. <laughs> Gonna need you to move! You knew the odds. tough to deal with. I'm gonna make, start moving Gilbert back this way. As well as Ash. I need to... I can move them all back for a direct assault on these things. Because I'm gonna need to draw one of those automatons out at a time. On to the next battle. I won't. Not what I. That should stop the supply of magic. Now we should be able to land attacks on those things. These strange devices and weapons. They are the empires. Unbelievable. I'm glad I took that approach, cuz that would have been pretty bad. That's helpful. Go. 
my fight for Lady Rhea. An elixir. Moving in. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. Ash, you need to pull out now. They don't have that much health. They got good shields on them. That would mean you, as well as you to do. Ah! 
Cut through. And it's down. It was the only way.
should be fine there. Get too slow. Moved out of range. Maybe it'll move back into range. Okay, well, let's see what they're gonna do. Retreat. And I took your attention and you're confused. I don't even need to use this weapon on me. Oh, come on. Never doubted you. Another one down. Well, they're moving into range, so that's good. Next playing some catch up. Okay, he's moving in to deal with us personally. They all are. Here is something to believe in. There is still that was handy. One. Let's see you got this! 
Thanks. Counter a crit with a crit. Just like that. Won't be in vain. I could learn from that. Oh god, there's two of them right on top of each other. So that puts it in a state of confusion, so it's not gonna get a turn. Don't be careless. I'm trying to kill it as quick as I possibly can. Give me that brave bow. That's not what I wanted. I can't lose. Thank you, Fritz. I'm still here. Excellent flying. I am on. Get to mess down. I really needed you. I'll cut you down. All right, next. Leave it to me. I won't be deterred. That worked. Out.
Oh, no, 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 my battery's going low. Shit, shit. I I'll make do. For now. Is that it? Don't should have a USB cord around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Don't go anywhere without a USB cord. Plug in. Good, 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 good. I think Dimitri should have the honor of killing her. But everyone stands ready. My, it's been a long time, hasn't it, your highness? Oh, and she's You've going right for him. Strong. Oh, shameless. I bet it was you who killed my uncle and set me up. Am I right? <laughs> Too true. I'd already forgotten about all that loveliness. I'll kill you, you monster. You will pay for all that you have done. Not a bad child's play. Say that tip over. Prepare to meet your fate in the fires of hell. Let's see you dodge this! Ah! Oh, so this is as far as I could get. Oh, and she's a grimmery. That's interesting. Only the strong succeed. <laughs> well, so be it. Still, I'll give you a little gift. It's over, Cornelia. If you have any last words, now is the time. Just kill her right now. Right you are. Very well. I have an old tale that I would like you to hear, if I may. You About killed his parents. That happened ten years ago. It was something you. Patricia said about how she wished to see her real daughter again, no matter who or what she had to sacrifice to do so. And about how I made her wish come true, at the cost of the king's head. The king's head? You mean Dusker? You monster! You mean to say that my father, everyone, was killed by my stepmother? <laughs> That's right. Her what the hell? Everything to her. You certainly know that feeling, do you not? <laughs> oh, poor little prince. Unloved by the only mother he ever knew. <laughs> How pitiful. How dare you! <laughs> There's nothing left for you now. Nothing but despair. You make me feel safe. That was... That was certainly something. That, that was certainly something. I, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't know Troy how to respond to this. Like to spout nonsense to her very last. Nothing could change the fact that she was an enemy of the kingdom. 
She sold out Fargus to the Empire, forcing our people to suffer their tyranny. But all that ends today. No more blood will be needlessly spilled. Now that Cornelia has fallen, we will exert pressure on the nobles who were aligned with her. Perhaps we may yet find a connection to the tragic incident in Dusker. Once we do that, we will finally be able to prove the innocence of its people. Your Highness. I am certain that would make those of Dusker who lost their lives that day very happy. I am grateful, and I am proud to serve a man such as you. Come, Your Highness. You still have some responsibilities that must be carried out. Your people have been patiently awaiting your return. Do you mean... No. I can't bear to face them after all that I... We're going. You must face them. Professor. Right you are, as ever. I am their king, after all. What is this? As you can see, the people are rejoicing at the return of their king. Even though I turned my back on them and fled the kingdom in disgrace. Even so, the spectacle before you does not lie. I mean, you didn't really have much of a choice but to flee. A, a hero to save the people from their long oppression. Your Highness, it is truly a blessing that you have returned. Do I really have the right to stand here? Will they accept me as their king? Bloodstained as I am, am I fit to be king? If you atone, all will be forgiven. Yes. You are right again, my friend. I am finally home again. Fargus, how I missed you. This can't be the end. I mean, we still have Solon and Thallus. Thalus? It may be spring. The mages. But the nights are quite chilly here in Ferdiad. Still, our celebratory feast shows no sign of stopping. Have you grown weary of the festivities? I was going to ask you the same thing. It's not that I have grown weary, more that I find it difficult to be around everyone at the moment. I have just returned from visiting the graves of my loved ones. It had been a long while since I left Flowers. I was always terribly afraid of going near there, but I could not stay away forever. You have taught me something important, Professor. Humor? <laughs> you never let up, do you? No, what I am referring to is far more valuable. How should I put this? Perhaps it is most accurate to say that you taught me how to live. If you and I had not reunited on that fateful day, I am certain I would have died a fruitless death on the battlefield. I would have foolishly challenged a horde of foes, and in doing so, needlessly sacrificed the lives of my friends and myself. But now I have returned to my rightful place. I struggle with what to say when I know well that Words are not enough to express my gratitude. You saved me from the darkness and guided me back to the light. Thank you, Professor. With all that I am, I thank you. Do you still wish for revenge? Revenge was never something I wished for. It was an obligation I felt I had inherited from those who died. I believed my life belonged to those who lost their own in Dusker. But what I now seek is something else entirely. I can say that with confidence. But I digress. For tonight, our only focus should be to bask in our victory. After that, we must prepare for our battle with the Empire. To start, yeah. we must absorb the Kingdom Knights taken by the Dukedom into our own forces and reshuffle our troops. The Lords will need to help purge our territory of Imperial forces, and I will use my authority as King to gather forces from various regions. And we'll have to ask the merchants to lend us the funds we require. Oh, and we must request delivery of supplies at once. Well, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Just thinking about it all makes my head spin. There is much to do, 
but it is all critical work if we hope to stand a chance against the Empire. Is there no way to coexist? After all, you will soon face your own sister. Yes, I am well aware. I believe we have spoken of this before. Everyone has something they simply cannot accept. As for Edelgard, I am certain she will never be able to accept the Church of Seros. I believe that is why she seeks to destroy it. She is looking to revolutionize the world, in her mind, for the better. But Maybe even it is if for she the manages better. to birth a new world, it would be at the cost of... <sighs> a lot of people... I wish to end this war through acceptance, not annihilation. Just as my people accepted me, I wish dearly to accept her. But I fear... Your Highness, I finally found you. Ah, I'm sorry for slipping away. Has something happened? An express messenger just arrived from the leader of the Alliance. Please, return to the castle at once. An express messenger? What in the world could Claude be after? I am on my way. Professor, please join me. Uh, I actually want to see that cutscene. Part two. The Golden Deer's Azure plea. Moon. Garland Moon. The Golden Deer's plea. The Kingdom Army has reclaimed the Kingdom Capital and plans to immediately begin restoring the country and its forces. But an unexpected request arrives from Claude, leader of the Lester Alliance. Dimitri promptly responds to the request for aid, and he rushes to prepare the Kingdom's forces. I feel horrible about killing my classmates, by the way. Oh wow, Spirits of the Fallen will restore your equipment and you can pick up their items. That's interesting, but that's why I play on casual, because I'm a scrub. And I see a paralogue that must be done. Holy shit, an we hour have and a half. received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. Of we have course. Only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. Their defeated Gronder severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them before they can recover. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital, then immediately go invade the Alliance. Their general is Lord Volkard von Arendel. He serves as regent to the Emperor. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grander. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arendel. Are you concerned? I always suspected that Lord Arendelle was behind the tragedy nine years ago. The timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. If Lord Arendelle conspired with Cornelia, then what Kronja and the others said five years ago? Hmm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? If we turn our back on the Alliance, and then dare to falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions. In the Alliance to the northeast, and in the Empire to the south. That is true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Enbar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. I oh, agree. Maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We That's what I'm hoping. Attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie! 
When did you become so devious? <laughs> what would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. It really isn't. But an alliance with, well, the Lancaster Alliance in order to invade the Empire would be very fruitful to your cause to stop Edelgard. What do you think, Professor? I support Dimitri. We must go to Deirdre. I will admit that there is something to be gained for us as well, for when we eventually march south. But far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. We will arrange to head out at once. That's less than I don't know why it's the Lancaster Alliance. <laughs> and who's the birthday person? Sylvain. Uh, flowers. Thank you so much. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I go do a paralogue. The Silver Maiden, Dimitri. Okay. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Treasure Cold Steel as I help Dimitri in his paralogue chapter. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph signing off. I'm very, very sorry. This one went on for an hour and a half. I really did not expect that. Woo, boy, that's gonna be so much fun to edit!